In today's video, I'm taking this kid's coaster and decorate it first in five minutes, then 60, and then with no time limit at all. I was curious how big the differences would be, and trust me when I say... The last one is absolutely insane. The theme of this challenge is a creepy vampire castle because it's still Halloween, so why not? So, well, let's begin. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for five minutes. Honestly, there's no time to waste, so let's get straight into it. Starting the timer in three, two, one. There you go. Okay, first of all, I want to begin with a very simple station. We do need something for people to actually get in here. Here you go, nice and simple. I'll just make that pavement for now. It's absolutely fine. Then I also want to add some towers here, just using some very basic cylinders. Maybe one in the center, just like this. Is that going to work? Nope, that's not going to work. Oy, 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 this is not going well. Like that, and then we'll just put a cone on top for the roof. We'll make that pavement as well. And the roof uh, is going to be a bit lighter. I, I don't even know. Five Five minutes is literally impossible, guys. What even is happening right now? And let's do a similar thing right here. Nice tower, beautiful. Um, let's see, then I guess right here we can put some kind of graveyard. Let's use a bunch of these spheres to create some hills. I don't even know. Here you go. One, two. <laughs> this is gonna be a freaking masterpiece. Select grass and just kind of paint this. Here you go. Perfect. Only two minutes left. Weren't there like gravestone? Yeah, here, tombstone. Just add a bunch of these random headstones on here because this really could just be like a little graveyard area seems to fit the theme anyway um, um oh, i don't even know i guess i'll just put some more towers down i don't have time to plan either i have no idea what the hell i'm even doing right now i'll just add another tower and then maybe here we can add one of these towers on the sides with another cone piece on top i mean this totally <gasps> with the color 30 seconds left uh uh, uh, appearance, appearance. Let's make the coaster black. Apply to all pieces. The train, I guess, could be red. Red's a nice color, right? 15 seconds. Red, red, red. Then dark red, maybe. I don't even know. It's actually better, yes. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. It's fine. Time's up. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Five minutes is impossible. Actually, the coaster itself, the colors look pretty nice. The black and red works. But um, obviously, this is just not it. It's embarrassing, really. I'm not even gonna do a POV. You can tell it's awful. But well, that is it for the first five minute version. Let's move on to an hour. An hour, guys, let's see how much this changes. Starting the timer in three, two, one, go. Okay, so we can just be a little bit more chill about it this time around. I will once again begin with a station though, just to make sure we have something here at least. And then for the coaster, let's do the same kind of thing I had earlier. And the train can be dark red. Actually, I do think the placement of that first tower wasn't all that bad. It just looked awful. Let's make it about the same height like so and for this one let's do separate bricks instead it mostly just makes it look a lot more custom and since we can just copy and paste this kind of stuff now it's all so much easier than it used to be i am gonna add some slight color variation in here and then i can simply just fill up the entire thing like this pretty straightforward isn't it and hell even some windows too and the windows we can also just copy around a little bit to spread them all over this tower considering i spent about 10 minutes making this i think this has potential at the very top, let's once again use these cone pieces, except this time we'll use a bunch. There you go. See, that looks a bit strange. Actually, no, I don't like that. Let's make that a bit more robust. There, that is nice and pointy. Yeah, that's better. Let's move this entire thing over here. Put the top part on there, and then we have another tower in minutes. I do have to start prioritizing because we already spent 15 minutes. Let's make a bridge in between these two towers here. We can use these rounded pieces to make that look really nice. And on the edge, we can put a bunch of these guys to make it look at least a little bit more interesting because otherwise it's a bit um, too plain. Okay, there you go. See, that is quite nice. And to be fair, we can just use all of these kind of elements to finish this castle. We'll just copy over another one of these towers, I guess. It's actually very satisfying seeing all of this come together like that. And the same thing again over here, maybe a bit lower though. Hey, this is getting shape. What if we grab this and use it to support the lift hill? That is a lovely idea, isn't it? So we'll do one and two. We just have to make sure everything underneath still makes sense. Now the question is, 
Anyways, are we gonna do supports? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> that seems wasted effort for the hour version. Okay, so now we did some castle stuff. We definitely need some ground stuff as well. In here, let's put some water for now. It looks nice. In fact, I think with one of these, we can make the color of the water red, as if it's blood. Yeah, I guess that's that's all right. For the graveyard, I'm gonna use some of these cylinders first. And this has to be grass once again. But to be fair, actually, this hill idea wasn't maybe even so bad. Otherwise, it's just way too flat. Here you go. And then also again, the tombstones. Let's spread these guys all over here. And then now the long awaited rocks. This of course looks terrible. So we definitely need to put some work into this. Shouldn't be any issue though with the copy and paste tool. Let the magic happen, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go. It will simply never get old. I keep saying that, but it's simply true. This is amazing. And now that we're at this anyway, may as well put some of this around the stage as well to kind of spice this up. In general, I think around this ridge, we can just add some rocks as well. We still have 20 minutes left, so we should be good. I just don't want all of this to be completely open. That seems very lame. It is just baffling how fast this goes. Could you imagine what this challenge would have looked like a few years ago? I feel like even the last version would not look as good as this second version here. This is definitely getting shape. Um, let's see what else. Let's just put the rocks on this side too to make sure the entire thing is nicely surrounded with a nice backdrop. Maybe just path can actually work for this. It is very fast, as you can see, and it does just make it look a bit nicer, a bit more taken care of. The original rock ground just is not it. And to be fair, we still have 15 minutes left, so I think I'm gonna add some vegetation as well. Starting with simple bushes like this one. Maybe a few dead trees. Should definitely make that a bit more desaturated though, like that. Looking at it now though, it really does bother me that we don't have supports, so let's just make something simple for that. Anything, really, because this is just weird. Let's go with the classic support look for these. Let's go ahead and spread these guys all over this coaster. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left. We should be able to do this. It's actually crazy though. You can do a lot in one hour, it seems. I did not expect this, I can tell you that. I am gonna be cutting it dangerously close though, because I still need to actually connect all of these to the track. Although that I'm gonna do very simply just like that. I'm not gonna make actual connector pieces. I can make it. I'm sure I can make it. I have to make it. Three minutes left. I'm almost done though. This is literally almost done. Just a few more here and we should be golden. Maybe for this we can just use some on-grid fences to make sure we can make it in time. Here you go, just like this, nice and simple. Fences on the side here. Let's make those the same brown as the trees. We still have one minute left, but I do feel maybe just some more bushes here and there, just around the towers here, like this. And that is what I'm gonna do with my last minute, guys. The last minute. In my last 30 seconds, I'm just gonna add some more supports, actually. 10 seconds left, guys. 10 seconds. Seconds, one more support. And I think actually that is pretty much it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the hour version. Let us go ahead actually and see the Unride experience first. The castle elements, I do think, look quite nice. They are quite detailed, and I do think they look pretty cool. The ground, however, it's just a bit plain, isn't it? There isn't too much going on. It's just a bunch of grass, a few tombstones, and everything else is rocks. So it's fun, it's okay, but it's definitely not worth more than an hour. Let's see what happens if I give this my absolute all. No time restrictions at all. Simply full power. Let's go ahead. So I did some off-screen building. <laughs> I may have gone a bit too far with this one, uh, guys. Initially, I was gonna record this, but then it turned out so, so detailed that the video would have just been 10 hours and that's not doable. So uh, halfway in, I thought, you know what? Let's not record this. Let's just build full focus. And I did, and it turned out absolutely insane. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Vampire voyage. This whole thing turned out so much more insane than it needed to. Going into this, I thought, let's just make like a cool looking ride. 
Um, but then this happened. Honestly, though, I'm not even mad. This looks freaking ridiculous. And I'm going to show you literally everything. At the entrance here, we have a sign saying Vampire Voyage. It seemed like a nice name. But now let's make our way up to this ramp, which of course leads you to the station. Now, this station is a bit more simplistic than I usually do. If everything's okay to go, these two operators both click this button. And the operator all the way up here is then starting the ride. Anyway, let's uh, let's go sit inside and and run. I think you can see where all this excitement comes from. Uh, this is really, really quite nice. I'm in love with how this turned out. And you do go through all of this pretty quickly, so allow me to just kind of show you some extra things. First of all, at the beginning here, I made some sort of motor for the chain lift. I thought it looked a bit weird without that, so there you go. The chain lift in general does look pretty cool. There's a bunch of wooden details here. And in general, the whole castle turned out just very detailed. And that is funny, because really, it's just the same kind of elements repeated in different shapes and sizes. I mean, you can kind of tell there's just a bunch of these stones which are often being held up by these support looking thingies. And there's some windows and of course the pointy roofs. All of that combined ended up looking like this and oh, I mean, just look at that. Anyway, going into this actual tower area, um, it's very simple, yet I still do think it is effective. A bit of that artificial light makes it a bit more vibey, a bit more, you know, creepy. And after that, you, of course, descend into the first drop. It, I mean, it's a kid's coaster. It's nothing special. It doesn't go that fast. It's just nice and mellow, I guess. I did make sure to add accurate supports, as you can see here. I do think they look realistic. Of course, they aren't the same everywhere. You can tell here these are wooden and just a bit more ancient. I thought stuff like that could kind of change it up a little bit, making it a bit more interesting and varied. Especially these supports here, I think, look really badass. Uh, of course, you go inside this tunnel here, after which you go outside and back in. And this room, once again, just like upstairs, is very simple, yet I do think it just serves as a bit of, you know, variety. Some nice warm light, some very simple skeletons and coffins. Fun stuff. I didn't want to put too much effort in that because you see it for literally 2.2 seconds. So, uh, seems fine for now. And after that, you slowly go back to the station. And I almost forgot, if you get out of the coaster, you go back down here and walk around this rock and then here you go out. So, that's that. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but the rocks in this area are inspired by Terran in Fantasia Land. I just love the way these formations look, so I thought let's do that here as well. And then also we have a bunch of gravestones, of course, which I did make custom. They're not the basic ones. Um, then also there's grass around it, which is really just a bunch of cones. Um, I'm honestly surprised that this was possible because they're very close together. I did stretch it a little bit, but I, honestly, it looks it looks all right. It is definitely better than just flat grass, so I'm very happy with that. There's also some trees here, as you can see. They're uh, pretty basic. They're just the, the dead trees with a bunch of cylinders. Essentially the same ones we had here in the Five Nights at Freddy's ride. Even the coaster itself has some cool details, like these drive tires. As I said earlier, the motor for the chain lift. It is, I mean... It's a bit of everything, really. There are some realistic elements like those and the supports, but there is also a bunch of fantasy stuff like the castle itself. In my opinion, this is just a blueprint for a great ride because I like building smaller stuff. It's less time consuming, but also, I don't know, it's it's just different. By the way, the back of this castle is uh, pretty plain, but you don't see it anyway, so who cares? It is really just about the front, so there's that. Yeah, I do have to say I am beyond satisfied with how this turned out. I think it simply looks cool. And especially for a challenge like this, I think we succeeded. If you're wondering, I think in total I spent about 12 hours on this. I'm not entirely sure I didn't keep track, but I spent about two working days, I would say. So maybe like 16 hours, that kind of time frame. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this challenge, I want to see more of this in the future. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments. This is a new thing for me. Um, I did do this concept on Photoshop videos on my main channel, of course, a while back, but this is so different. It's honestly insane. I like it. But yes, and I guess for today, 
that is it. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single future upload, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.